Estamos aquí con el candidato a concejal por el tercer barrio de Patterson, Bill McCoy. Eh, cuéntenos, Bill McCoy, cuál es la importancia de estas elecciones del mayo 14. Tell us, please, uh, what is the importance of this election for Patterson residents this May 14? This is the most critical election that we can face. It will determine the trajectory of our city. It is an election that would allow us to raise our collective voices and to express our true value. And so of all the elections in the third ward, this is most critical where we will choose the leader that would represent us um, going forward um, to make sure that our voices are not muted, but that our voice is clear and that we come out with a resounding vote for sound experience and proven leadership. To say to everyone collectively that your character matters, that your integrity matters, that I need to have uh, someone in office that I can trust, that they will do the right thing, both when folks are looking or when they're in private, and that they will not sacrifice the, the, the benefit of the city Uh, for their own personal gain. Uh, you were a councilman before. Um, people ask about the, why you're not a councilman right now. Right. What happened the last time? The last time we had a very serious problem of uh, voter fraud that was committed, and the attorney general has that in his hands. That matter will be resolved. There was a second set of um, charges that came forth last October, and they're working through the courts with that. But the real choice is to the voters. The decisions is in the hands of the voters. They will decide um, their values and who they desire to have represent them. And I put forth the proposition that in fact, we need a resounding voice. We need a loud voice to say, to reject the um, corruption of the past and to say yes to a future that is bright, sound experience and proven leadership where your interest is all that's being served and not our personal interest. Everybody knows uh, about the Home Depot, but uh, a yes. few people knows about the story behind that. Right. Uh, tell us something about uh, how it started uh, the project. Omjiguo started uh, very early in, 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 my, in my career as a council person. Uh, mayor Barnes was the mayor at that time. And we had a dilapidated, contaminated factory at the corner of Fifth Avenue, Route 20, that was not giving us any um, tax revenue. A prospective developer saw that land as a possibility, a possible site for Home Depot and acquired it. Um, began the process of cleanup. He ran into some difficulties, needed some assistance from the city, and we provided that assistance to ultimately clean up the property, and they sold it to Home Depot. If you notice, in the front of the building, closest to Route 20, is the parking lot. That's where the contaminations were. The building was housed towards the back in the area that was um, cleaned. And so that was the start of the Route 20 corridor economic development that brought Home Depot to the city of Patterson. And at the same time, Lowe's came along at the old Coca-Cola factory. So we got a two for one in that transaction. And it has proven to be the catalyst to spur that economic development and to drive the development that you're seeing on the Route 20 corridor. So that was a very good move. What are the things that are you think that I, uh, you feel proud of? most proud of, of what we have done as, as, a, as a council person over the years, Center City Mall that you see today, although it has its challenges, was simply an empty lot before um, I got on the municipal council. And we worked with the administration then to bring Center City to fruition. And that really started the economic revitalization of the downtown. We're seeing the parking authority has expanded that Um, with the new garage that they've put in, as well as a new development that's being planned for Ward Street and Memorial Drive. Those are some of the initiatives that came out of my service on the Municipal Council. It has also spawned other areas 
uh, uh, restoration as well. The old paper, paper mill factory at Fifth Avenue was developed in a similar fashion. And the Lita Dye property on Madison and Third, that is now the Phillips Academy, also came out of that collective idea of taking abandoned properties and restoring them to productive use. But it's still there, uh, there are many things to do in Patterson right now. And uh, what do you think about the, those uh, problems that is facing the city? Absolutely. As a, as a city on the transitional aid, we still have many, many challenges. The budget is a major uh, challenge to make sure that we have the revenues to support that. You've seen um, recently the, the contracted for garbage collection. In an effort to save money, we've actually created uh, a new problem that we had not had before with regards to the bulk rate and the amount of garbage that's on our street. It needs someone that understand contracts and the details and can do those analysis to bring the best solutions to a city of Patterson. So I believe that um, returning to the council would serve the public interest. I have an accounting background. I have a background in finance and budget. And I understand the nuances of how to negotiate those types of contracts. So we're looking forward to that. Clearly, we have a public safety issue that continues to plague us as many other cities. We need to make sure that we right size our police department and we have enough manpower to address the crime and violence that we see um, on our streets. And we will work with the administration to make sure that that's accomplished. One more thing, uh, how to avoid uh, those problems that you mentioned before about the fraud, the both fraud, um, now warranty, uh, clean election. Right, absolutely. I think um, my main message to, to the voters is that the decision is in their hand. Um, we will decide the future of, of our city and we will decide the outcome of this May election. And we should go out with a resounding vote and vote yes for honesty and integrity and trust. We should go out and make sure that our vote counts, that our voice is heard, and that we register that this is more about effective government. This is um, requiring us to select someone that has a skill set to be able to deliver for the taxpayers each and every day. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited about the fact that um, I'm confident that we will step up to the, to the plate and collectively as a community say yes um, to sound experience and proven leadership and make sure that we select someone on May 14th that can uh, reflect the values of our community as a collective. Any special message for the Hispanic community, Mr. McCoy? As I walk through the ward, uh, our, our demographics has changed tremendously. Patterson is a very uh, diverse community with many uh, uh, Hispanic members of the Hispanic community call the third ward their home. And it's a place that they're welcome that they are thriving with businesses and raising their families. And I encourage, as I hear from them, that they are selecting the values that they would want their children to espouse. And that is to do the right thing. Even when um, no one is looking, we're doing that as well. So honesty and integrity does matter and it counts. And I've been encouraged that we're looking for uh, individuals with a skill set uh, to solve the problems that we face today. And so I look forward to a tremendous vote on May 14th that we will say yes to moving our city forward in a direction um, that is reflective of our collective value. Okay, thank you very much for this interview. Something else that you want to add to this, go ahead. Thank you. I just want to commit to um, the voters and residents to, to let you know that we have a vision for going forward for the city of Patterson, how to improve our ward and to make things better. If you need to see continuation of the economic development as you've seen on the Route 20 corridor, I am the person to uh, commit to you to do that. If you wanna see a safer streets to make sure that we can expand our police department in an effective way to protect our neighborhood, we can do that together. For someone with integrity, honesty, and trust, someone you can depend on, vote for the real McCoy. Vote for 3A 
on your ballot May 14th. I encourage you to go out and vote. Let your voice be heard.